is going on my super sandwiches? Rhymes out here and today I'm gonna talk about D3 for a Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle discussion and today we want to talk about something that we both noticed as far as uh, which direction this game is taking with these brand new units that they're releasing uh, right now. So to those who haven't been keeping up, yes, Physical Gotenks is the next 120% god lead. He uh, is going to be working for the super types and basically what he does is he does the exact same thing that Tech Gotenks did a year ago. Not even a year ago actually, it's funny. Gotenks, the tech one, was released August of last year. It hasn't even been a year yet and they re-released the card. Now what I want to you know make clear is we're not saying don't re-release re-release the same characters because you're gonna get to the point where you run out of characters. We want we want our Gogetas, we want our Gotenks, we want our Goku's Vegetas, yada yada yada. The problem is is when they re-release the same card to the same gimmick, and that's when it gets kind of stale. And the way I noticed this originally was with well actually, to be honest, I just noticed it now with this Gotenks. But if you look back, it's been happening for a long time. LR Broly. First of all, LR cards need to be special. They need to be unique to themselves completely because it's really hard to get them, especially if you have to sum for them. And for them to be not unique, it's kind of like a slap in the face. Look at Gohan. D3, your favorite card. <laughs> Gohan <laughs> has the most unique passive in the game. For every single key, he, key orb he gets, he gets an extra plus key. It's like it's guaranteed to get super attacks left and right. And while that's a little bit overpowered, it is unique to that card, and I like that. Then you have LR Broly, who literally is, hey, why don't we just take Broly and make him, but combining physical Broly and strength Broly into one. Now, it's cool. He attacks twice and he attacks all. It's very unique to him. And the low defense, too. Yeah, he's he's literally, they the literally copied. Yeah, <laughs> it's the same cards. That's the problem. It's a cool card. It's awesome. It hits hard. It's incredible. But it's the same card. Where is the originality? And it's like looking back at Janimba and Gogeta, <laughs> it's literally the same cards that they released last year. More now, so granted, Gogeta because he is yeah, that's literally what I was about the same card. A hundred percent. <laughs> Except for he hits, he hits for 1.5 million now instead of like 300,000, which back then was the equivalent to a million. Oh, don't you, shaft STR Gogeta like that. He hit for like 800k. No, this is before the orb system. I'm talking oh, about okay, originally. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, back in the day when it was impossible to hit for 100k, when this man was doing 100k easily, you know, that was amazing. Yeah. Now, Janimba, he gets a pass kind of because he got the built in dodge, so he's kind of different, but ultimately it's the same card. They both tank. Oh, uh, Janimba tanks, so does Intelligence one, and you have Gogeta just kind of breaks the guard. Now, I, again, I like those abilities. They're cool, they're very useful, but if you think about it, they're not that they're not that unique, and that's kind of a problem. Like, look at Super 17. Granted, not that many people summon for Super 17. Well, I don't want to say not that many. A lot of people summon for him, but I feel like it wasn't as popular because he's not that popular of a character. Super 17 was one of the most unique abilities that they released in a very, very long time. And that was awesome. That makes you like really rethink how you put together an agility team. Like there's so many options you can do and the way he basically mitigates damage and does more is cool. Like that's unique. Give us more of that. Unfortunately, it's Super 17, so I feel like he didn't do as well. Cooler is another one. Uh, again, Cooler is not that popular of a character compared to someone like Frieza, but his character, the way he released it, was fairly unique. Granted, his double attack thing was kind of a copy and paste from Broly, but his is kind of unique in his own way where he hit really hard the first time, and then the second time, it's a chance to be a super attack. So it wasn't completely a copy and paste, but it's very He's more different. like a Vegito Blue. Yeah, and he takes. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking but, of Vegito Blue. But also, that passive is a copy and paste of Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, so. Yeah. You pick your well, poison. But yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Vegeta Blue is a good example though that you brought up because he had additional attacks and he has a, has, has a counter. Speaking of counter, Super Super Vegito has that counter that changed the game when he came out. Like those were unique abilities that were so special and, and, and made those cards like really valuable. But now it's like we're not getting that anymore. So when they released, when they announced Gotex this past week, wow, that card is so freaking amazing. He just like literally just became the second hardest hitting unit in the game. End of the day, it's just, it's just Tech Gotex. He has three super attacks. You're mostly only going to get the 12 key attack and the 11 key attack. If you have uh, a bad setup, you might get the 9 and 10 key attack. But for the most part, it's the same card. And they even changed the animation just slightly by, you know, adding just a little bit of extra touches. For example, like when he does his boo boo volleyball, he just does that quick, you know, like he laughs real fast and then he does uh, die die missile barrage, which again isn't that new of an animation. So all they really literally did is just they just kind of added a couple more touches to go tanks and they slapped a physical sticker on it and then called it a day. But here's the part where it gets worse. And not, a, not like if we point this out, this is going to make you really think about this game and which direction it's going. Rebirths. <laughs> <laughs> Rebirths come out how often? Like every couple weeks or so? Yeah, they something never, like that. They almost never change their super attack animations. And I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, this company makes literally millions of dollars off this game. But they don't have, I don't know, the resources or the time. Or maybe they're just lazy. They don't change anything. I'm so tired of seeing Kamehameha. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, t t tell me, what do you think about that? Am I, am I crazy? No, no, you're right. I mean, they all kind of... I mean, the problem is 
yeah, a lot of the characters can do the Kamehameha, so it's fine. You kind of get a pass for that using the same animation in that regard. But damn, if, if your card starts off doing the exact same, because there are a few different variants of the Kamehameha animation. If he starts right. off doing one, you know, and then he turns around and he does it exactly the same way after the rebirth, that's a problem. Because all they really did, I, I would, I wouldn't think it was a crazy. It would be a crazy idea to say that the most time they spent on that card is probably the art. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's crazy, and that's not necessarily a good thing. Especially sometimes the yeah. art's subpar, but it's not really a good thing. You're not really spending much time or putting much thought into your card being different. Exactly. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, Ryan Stahl, what can it do? Like, define creativity. Well, it's small stuff that's, like, unique to the card. Again, Janimba, for the most part, is the same as the Intelligent Janimba, but he does have that chance to dodge. That's somewhat unique. He's kind of copy-paste, but it does make him unique enough to make you actually care about that card. What I would have personally done with Gotenks and... Let me know your thoughts on this. As you guys know, the way Gotenks works right now, he has 120% boost with his passive, but also for seven turns, he has another 60% boost that further makes him do more damage. But to balance that, they have him drop off with defense by 30%. That's kind of like how they balance it out. He gets hit harder, but he can hit harder in return for seven turns. What I would have done, would have made, what would have made a card so much more epic and awesome is after seven turns, have Gotenks defuse. They defuse, then you have Goten and Chunks floating there, similar to like the androids, uh, the LR androids. And for a whole turn, they're a little bit weaker, but for the most part, they, you know, it's unique and a cool gimmick that makes you like that card that much more. And then on the next turn, they're back to being fused and they get the attack boost again. So basically, it's kind of like hit hard for seven turns and then take a breather for a turn and then hit hard for seven turns again, yada, 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 yada. While that's not that big of a deal, it's, it's unique and different. And like seeing these cards defuse would have been epic. Another good example are the Great Apes. Great Apes were cool for about, what, a week? Was that, like, <laughs> they weren't, <laughs> they didn't survive, yeah. Great Apes were cool for about a week. And, like, and you know, Tech Fury when, Beerus never really yeah. was that great. Mm -hmm. It does the same like, thing. They were cool and unique in a way where they did something completely different. And while that was really cool to see the first time, they kind of just completely abandoned that meta. And I feel like there's so much potential to do so much with all the things in the game right now, and then even more stuff that hasn't been explored yet. Another idea that I had was, they could introduce Tapion as a god lead, where you know you get the 120% boost, he's a super type, but he has a chance to transform into Hyrudegarn, and then he becomes an extreme leader. So it's like what that what that does now is it forces you to want to create a hybrid team of villains and good guys, and then based on which stage Tapion is in, whether he's Tapion or Hyrudegarn, you know, the villains or the heroes get boosts. That makes you think differently, makes you uh, handle events differently. That would be cool. Like give us something that's different that's like, uh, I don't know. It would actually I'll add relevance to when I do hybrid teams, and it's like, oh, why are you doing a hybrid team? There's a bunch of mono leaders. Well, I just want to find a fun way to play the game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, once you start hitting for a million, it doesn't matter. Like, okay. you're going to beat any event, and I think that's actually your phrase. Once a card starts hitting for a million, it doesn't matter. You're going to beat any event out there. It's true, and man. What, Especially if you have yeah. two or three of those guys on one team, which you innately will if you have a god lead friend. It, it, uh -huh. it's, it's absurd. You know, the damage output at this point, which is another discussion, is through the roof. They, they just do so much damage to where it doesn't right. matter anymore. And, like, um, they, did start, they did start releasing, you know, more unique events like Janimba Dodges, which was kind of annoying, but it was fun and challenging. And then, bro, of course, I, I tell you what, Gotenks' event is going to be stupid annoying because the original tech one was already stupid annoying. <laughs> it was tough. It was tough. <laughs> to this but day, to be honest, I with, hate with, that with, event. Yeah, but, the, but with the teams that we are right now, I'm sure we'll be able to plow, plow through it, which, again, is a problem. Like, unless they have something completely unique for Gotenks, uh, I, I have no problem thinking about whether or not I can beat that event. And I feel like if they change it up, they, they could. They could. Another good event was Super 17. That was so much fun to do. With the barrier, like, makes you think differently and play the game differently, and that's what's going to keep the game alive in the long run. But what I feel like they're doing right now is, is, is we're allowing them to be less creative because they know at the end of the day we're going to buy it. Because the thing is, is these cards aren't bad. Gotenks, second hardest hit in the game right now. You want Gotenks. But like... As a fan of this game, this is the problem. Like, we all want go tanks, and we're all gonna go for go tanks. Not pull from will be stupid, but at the same time, it's like if we support it, which I'm not saying don't support it, but if we support it, it gives them more freedom to do that again in the future. Like, imagine they do extreme tech full power Frieza, where it's the exact same ability as this physical one, where he gets a 120% boost and then like a defense boost or something, where they slightly change it. Nothing really special as far as you know anything else added to it, but they slightly change it. And then his attack animation literally is the same blast that he shot at Goku, but they ended with like the plan blown up or something, where they slightly change it. Literally copy and paste it. If they do something like that, that's BS. Do I want it? Of course I want it. It's an awesome card. It's, it's great. It's awesome. It'll, it'll run awesome with, you know, my extreme tech cards. But end of the day, it's not that unique and different. And, like, this is, like, basically, you know, 
us as a community coming out saying, look, man, if you guys are going to do more cards over the course of the next couple months, think. Just think. Be unique. Be different. Give us different metas. You know, think about, you know, how to make these cards different and, and not be copy and paste of previous releases units and we'll be fine with that. So I don't know. No, Let us know your I thoughts agree. in the comment section below on that. Yeah, like, is, like are we overthinking it? I, I mean, D3, what do you think? Is there anything else to add to this? No, you're right. Uh, I feel like they have exhibited the ability to be creative before and they at this point are just like, oh, well, we can do whatever we want. We're still going to get paid so they don't care anymore, uh -huh. which is in and of itself is, is a, a problem. So hopefully that changes in the future. And it, one person you didn't mention is Mr. Buhan, who is creative too, but oh yeah, Buhan's great. Yeah, he Buhan's was awesome. When it, <laughs> dude, when Buhan first came out, he was my favorite card in the game. Like the man was nuking and healing at the same time, incredible. And yep. then we get, you know, we get the intelligence godly kid boo, where basically all he gets is a, a attack boost, and then he also heals with a super attack. And then it's like, okay, well this is, this is basically, like you, you couldn't done something else. You couldn't done something where it's like he absorbs damage and then you know heals you off that damage or something like. That's what people so much... thought that seventeen was actually going to do. They thought that he was going to be able to like tank attacks, and I'm fine with what 17 was able to do innately, just being able to take those hits right. and then gradually start hitting harder. He's a bit slower, but that's fine with me. But they uh -huh. were thinking that he'd be able to you know, absorb attacks, which would, if they did something like that, that would be freaking right. crazy you know, yeah. for units. I, I would love something like that. It would introduce a new meta to the game. Again, just on the next, if, you, if, if Bayonetta happens to be watching this video, which I don't think they are, but if they happen to be watching this, just take your time. Think about the next unit. You know what? In fact, get get us involved. Not us as an us YouTubers. I'm talking about us as a community. Make us vote. A give survey, us like, oh, yeah. yeah, give us a survey or something like who should be the next, you know, extreme tech, you know, leader or the next, you know, LR card. Yada yada. Get us involved. Get us kind of have us as a community come together and help decide what this game does. And then you know, from there, be creative, have fun with it. You guys are getting our money, so you better like give us some good cards in the end out of this. And I'm not just talk talking about it as far as functionality, but I'm talking about like how the overall packaging is. And for the love of God, when a card gets a rebirth, change the super attack. Give us a new animation. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> not happening. <laughs> uh, fingers crossed. I don't know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think we kind of got our point across. So in the comment section below, let us know your thoughts on this. Is this crazy? Do you guys not even care about this? Is have you guys not even noticed this? Uh, feel free to kind of discuss any ideas you have as well down below, and I guess we'll take them from there. But the most part is just one of those things I noticed, and I want to see what the community says. So uh, what we say doesn't mean anything is going to change as far as the future of the game. It's just you know us as a community in one room right now talking about this and you know getting on the same page. So with that said, let us know what you're thinking down below. And we'll take it from there. D3, do you want to add anything else before we end this? Nah, that's it, bro. Thanks for having me. All right. <laughs> Even though I talk literally most of the time. But hey, I'm passionate about this. <laughs> I like this game, man. I like this game. <laughs> Anyways, we hope you enjoyed. If you uh, found this video entertaining in any way, feel free to leave a like right below in a comment. Again, let us know your thoughts and everything as far as the state of the game and the future of releases. What you personally want to see. What cards you want to see. What abilities you want to see get introduced. Get creative yourself now as a viewer in the comment section below. And we'll take it from there. Hope you guys enjoyed us today. It's been D-Free and Rhyme Style. We'll see you guys next time.